Hello and welcome to SG Tech Forum. After a little bit of pause in my channel, I'm going to start a very exciting journey with you all, and it's going to be a very hands-on uh, journey. And we call it ST Access Bootcamp: Learn to Create Intent-Based Network. As you all know, that Cisco DNA Center is um, is an orchestrator which help you build modern age IBM networks. In my previous videos, I have talked about SDA technology, Cisco DNA Center as a platform in bits and pieces. But in this bootcamp scenario, I'm going to show you how to build software defined access solutions end to end. All right, so let's look what we have in the agenda today. This is going to be a very hands-on lab. That's where if you're a network engineer or architect, you're going to see how to build SDA access solutions as quickly as possible. And this is the topology we are going to build. The component will be, what we will be touching is Cisco DNA Center, Cisco Identity Service Engine or ICE, and then new generation of Catalyst switches, which is Catalyst 9K powered with Cisco IOS XE software. Obviously, all these great features comes from uh, power of subscription, software subscriptions, and we will talk about what are the most uh, pre prerequisite kind of software licensing you should have, right? Before we dwell in or deep, take a deep dive into agenda, let's, let me come back and give you an overview of what is SDA Access, right? SDA Access Solution is a programmable network architecture that provides software-based policy and segmentation from the edge of the network to the application. SD Access is implemented via Cisco DNAC, which provide design setting, policy definition, automatic provision of the network element, as well as assurance and analytics for wired and wireless network, right? So this is a new way of creating your network infrastructure, intelligent network infrastructure, um, and we will see how to create that in this bootcamp, okay? So lab mode or the delivery mode will be a recorded demo where I'm, I have built, I'm building the part of the network and during um, our video, we are going to talk about the different steps I'm performing and why I'm performing those steps. We will talk about the fundamental of uh, uh, not just clicking the UIs, but we will talk about what is the technology or what kind of configuration you're putting in place when you do perform those actions. Prerequisite again, there is no prerequisite as such, but I highly encourage you to go watch two set of playlists one is DNA Center uh, playlist, and another is SD Access playlist in my uh, uh, on my channel. The links are already available in descriptions, uh, so you can go and watch uh, those videos so that you can come prepared for the bootcamp. Now, the course, course. The entire boot uh, topology will be built in phases. Uh, so I have break down, break it down into like five or six phases. And let's talk about that. First phase is DNAC network design. So in this phase, we are going to build, uh, do a new DNAC installation. We will do the same thing with ICE and we will integrate DNAC, our newly built DNAC and ICE. Then we will move on to create network design or configure network design. Within that, we will create the hierarchy, we'll apply the credentials, we'll create our triple A servers, network profilers, so that you can push templates, and I'll show you how to do auto automatic upgrade using image repos. Finally, we will discover the device or onboard the devices like Cat9K switches uh, onto DNAC. In second phase, we will do uh, we will configure policy or create policies. We will be creating two kind of policies for our macro and micro segmentations using virtual network and security groups. Phase three, here we are going to start uh, discovering the physical nodes that, uh, uh, and create a underlay, underlay infrastructures and uh, with very minimal effect, right? So we are not going to configure the routing and other things by hand, but we will be using the power of automation and use PNP like plug, plug and play and LAN automation. And also we'll take a uh, under the hood kind of look 
when we do create the under underlay fabric okay then this is the most interesting part we'll create start creating our logical group of networks by means of fabric and then we will create we will onboard border router edge routers and other things within that fabric and finally we will connect our endpoints as as a part of host onboarding right uh, we will have a separate sections to deal with wireless first we are going to uh, create a wired network and then after that once everything is streamlined we will introduce a wlc maybe uh, aros or 9800 wlc and start onboarding wireless endpoints also so that i can we can have a comparative study between wired and wireless host and how we can keep the experience consistent finally last but not least dnac assurance in this section we are going to talk about what are the out of box capability you are getting when you are using this cisco's um, empowered solutions of dna center and catalyst and catalyst 9k what are the things you are getting out of the box and how it can help you uh, minimize your operational headache right uh, we'll talk about network health client health issues and events and how to manage the subscriptions alert and alarms regarding uh, uh, related to the various issues and events all right on the right side as you can see there are two playlists uh, defined as the access playlist link is in show notes dnc playlist same thing I highly advocate you to go and watch this video before we start with our phase one of this bootcamp journey. Finally, do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and tell your friends. I'm planning to start a Discord channel so that you can ask as many questions as you want uh, when we move from one phase to another related to the technology, your doubts, and all those things. So you'll see the Discord link in our show notes as well. So thank you and I'm really, really excited to see you uh, throughout the, the, this journey and I'll see you with the phase one next. Thank you.